All right, I have uh, a ton of projects I have to get out. <laughs> I have to get out a review key overview, which I'm still working on because uh, the game did not support controllers until last night. <laughs> so I haven't really had much time with it. Uh, I need to do this, and then I need to do 100 so. But today, I thought I'd do the game I'm most familiar with, which is Bloody Spell. Uh, just, they just put out an update, which added uh, a couple things, actually. So they added level select, uh, they also changed the way you, some of the levels work. The level layout seems to be different. Uh, both the bosses you fought on level 2 are actually fought separately now. Uh, the old guy with the mask and then the guy that looks like your brother or whatever. And uh, I have noticed some changes with the level design uh, mostly. And there are more loading zones and more loading transitions. I don't know if the levels are actually any different at all right now. <laughs> it's actually a good question. We also added a new weapon, so what I'm going to do for today is uh, I will just go through the prologue. So as you can see on the level select screen there, the uh, there's only going to be two more levels in the campaign, which is good. I, I think that they have uh, they've definitely upgraded this game in the, long way, the, the wrong way. They added a bunch of like multiplayer stuff, which it's probably fun in its own right, but the problem is the game has like under 100 concurrent players, so you're not going to find many people to play with. So let's do a little uh, quick look at the new moveset. So it's like two movesets in one. You have the dual wielding and then you have the combined. I don't like how some Dynasty Warriors weapons work. <laughs> uh, Sao Pei. Or bovine urine would probably be uh, the closest <laughs> closest representation of this move set or similarity to this move set. Oh, this is the uh, the new character I haven't tried yet. So everything is on the uh, the square button. The triangle button is mostly just to uh, switch between modes. Uh, also, some combos switch you between modes as well. I'm not too good with this weapon yet, just a fair warning. <laughs> I haven't spent that much time with it. Alright, so uh, Yejin is on vacation today, so uh, Dante was bored, and he's like, hey, uh, I'm going to do some sick weapon switch combos too. So, I'm going to play as him today. I believe weapon switch combos should be uh, equal opportunity. <laughs>
isn't really a combo game, but you can still have a really fun, like, just general flow that you fight. It's a new enemy. Really beautiful looking level. I, I really like this game's uh, the whole aesthetic of this game is really cool. Just like kind of kind of like Sekiro. I haven't played Sekiro, but that game has a cool aesthetic too because it's it's obviously in Japan, but it's not tied to any specific historical events or people. It's got kind of the whole Wuja thing going on. <laughs> Something you don't get in games very often. And watch the uh, thrilling story. And uh, Hyajin's back. He took a break, but uh, as soon as the cutscene's over, Dante will be back. They're splitting uh, ad revenue on their Twitch channel. Very uh, popular content creators. I guess they do uh, combo videos or something. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just back again. <laughs> I need to learn how to uh, tag combo. Good thing Dante's your buddy. He'll be fine. Dante can do the combos for you while you rest. Okay, so this level is basically just the tutorial, so uh, when you finish this, you end up back at the uh, the beginning of the game, the prison. Uh, I did play through the prison and the town, the village, and I didn't really notice that many differences. I, I'm not sure if there's even any roguelike elements in the level generation at all anymore, which I think would, would kind of be a good thing, but... At the same time, uh, the the final level of this game, or the current final level, is uh, it gets really repetitive to go through because it, it feels like a Zelda dungeon. You know, Zelda dungeons are fun to go through for the first time. And you're never really considered, you're never really supposed to go back again unless you missed like a secret or something. And here you're kind of just doing the same puzzle every time. I think it would be cool if they just made the roguelike elements just like the the, the permadeath and the uh, you know the items that you can get. 
and things like that. You know, the, the permanent progression, the persistent elements on the character. But just keep the level chunks the same because it's really only the first two levels of the game. Or actually now the, the second and third level, uh, the, the prison gets repeated again for some reason. Uh, that's, those, those are really the only levels that have any kind of level generation from what I've seen. Uh, I haven't played through the whole game again yet, but I noticed it was pretty much the same as it was before. So maybe they're ditching the roguelike element. I'll have to get back to you guys when I finish it. I'm kind of like juggling like three projects at once right now and on top of the service games I'm playing. But that's basically all they added. Uh, playing through the game right now, again, doesn't really need to be done at this time because uh, we still don't have the end of the game. There's still going to be another two levels. Uh, the only thing I really need to do at this point is just get to the uh, the guy that upgrades your weapon so that I can take that new uh, the new dual-wielded Albert combo thing and uh, get it to the persistent version or the highest rank. Uh, after that, I'll probably just play the other mode. Uh, and the campaign in this can be a bit of a drag, especially since they, they have been taking their time or wasting their time uh, updating other parts of the game, which don't really make sense, like the multiplayer <laughs> and things like that. Uh, but they have a bunch of other modes you can play in this that are more just combat focused. You have Bloody Palace, there's uh, there's Arena, there's Training Mode, and there's Hell Mode where you can get some uh, some rare drops in costumes. They're mostly skimpy costumes and stuff, which I don't really care about. But uh, there's other ways to interact with the combat in this game besides the campaign. So uh, it, it can be a little annoying that they, they did like market this game as a roguelike and it ended up not really being much of one. It's kind of more like a single player game with uh, some minor randomized elements and like permadeath and persistent progression and things like that. But otherwise, it's basically the same thing. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll probably do a full run once I finish these other projects. Uh, the people that sent me the code for that other game, which I need to cover, uh, they have patiently waited for me or they patiently waited for me to uh, wait for their controller support because I can't really play games on controller and uh, keyboard and mouse. That's just not something I've ever really been good at. So uh, since they put out that patch uh, last night, uh, I need to get through that game and make an overview. And then I'll probably record myself playing at least some of this campaign and see uh, exactly if there's any random level generation at all at this point. Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, they added a bunch of other changes, but English is not their first language, so it's kind of hard to determine exactly what was changed. They said that they changed the level design, and uh, all I've noticed so far is that the village level has, like, loading screen transitions, which is kind of weird because it was a completely seamless experience before, so that kind of leads me to believe that uh, maybe either there are level chunks in between those level transitions or everything's just completely identical. I'll have to play through the game numerous times to do that, and that's kind of time-consuming at this point. Uh, the village in particular got quite a bit longer than it was before last I checked. So uh, I'll get to that when I can. I just wanted to put this out really quick. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, some of those other projects I'm working on. Peace.